All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are gonna be fixing what I messed up yesterday. I did that. That's exactly what I did yesterday. Uh, I was trying to cut this turbo pipe off, which is right here. And whenever it cut through, just jammed right in there and leaked out pretty much all the coolant we have, which is kind of surprising because I thought we dumped all that out. <laughs> today we're gonna be replacing the radiator, taking off all the fans, uh, making sure we don't cut the wiring. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well enough and pretty quick because I'm trying to get this covered up and we only have about an hour left of sun. And then probably next weekend is when we'll do the power steering pump and we'll start cutting up the uh, exhaust headers. So let me set up a GoPro and then I will start taking apart all that. Alright guys, radiator is fully unmounted. Didn't realize how easy these were to work on. Just take out that bolt, that bolt, it's free. Just kidding, you gotta take off this one, and that one, and two of these. But that's it, I mean the radiator's out. I've been letting it drip for a little bit. Boom, look at that. She's pretty cranked, she's dirty. Pouring out some, oh, pouring out some weird fluid, weird colored fluid, but guess what? It's all right, because we got a brand new one right here. Already bent it a little bit. Yeah, she's brand new. Anyways, gonna pop that one in there. Let me do it real quick. This should be super simple. And that's the end of the video, guys. See you later. All right, guys, um, everything is connected. One, two, three. This guy not wanting to connect. It almost seems like, come on, focus. This ring right here is too thick and it's not letting it go in more than right there. That's it. I've tried everything. I've tried a little bit of hammering with a little hammer. I've tried uh, just tightening it with a wrench, but it doesn't want to go in. And I've checked this one out. And it looks like it's the same. So, I don't know. I had a great idea to use the Dremel and just kind of trim around the ring, but it's super thin already. Come on. It's super thin already, so I don't want to risk breaking that and then having to buy a whole new transmission line. So, I'm gonna cut it there today. Uh, not the end of the video, just pause. We'll be back in a second. I'm gonna wait for Hunter to get back and get his opinion but I'm gonna cover up Myrtle for tonight and I will pick up the camera next time we work on it tomorrow. All right, we're back today. Uh, it's been about a week since the last video. I don't know if this is getting picked up or not. Hunter is out AutoZone picking up a fitting cause that still doesn't fit. So we just cut off the old one and he's gonna get a return line so that one can match. But until he gets back from AutoZone or wherever he's from, I'm gonna swap out the throttle body for the one that the guy got me or I guess gave me supposedly is a little bigger i'm not sure i can't really tell yet but once we get that one off we'll be able to tell should take me a couple minutes i'll set up a gopro and that's why i unplugged this um i'll set up a gopro that way you can see the change and see how much of a difference this throttle body actually makes I forgot to mention that I cut the headers a little bit ago. So I got the tubes off, or the ends off of them. That way I can start finally matching them. Uh, where's the other one? And we'll be able to match them up to the ones that we cut last year. But this time we're gonna do a little bit different because we messed those up really badly. One of these sides, you can definitely tell that one of them's a little bit shorter than the other. So this year we're gonna take it a little bit more seriously because we have more than three weeks to plan. 
We're gonna get a straight line cut down the middle on all of them and make sure they're all level. That way there's no air leaks because I'm sure that's why we were making no boost last year. And then from there, we'll make out the exhaust pattern, which it'll be the exact same, just a Y to the center with a turbo. Okay, so it's been about an hour and I have made a discovery about an hour ago that the throttle body I bought is for actually a 99. So they do not match up. This one has the hook. This one don't have anything because I guess it's supposed to connect right there. So I looked it up and it is a $300 throttle body, um, but it's for the 99 to 2000s. So it doesn't match up with ours. Hunter was saying that we could probably just tack something on to replicate this hook right around here. But I have no idea how we would do that. So I think whenever Hunter just gets back, we're going to RTV the old one back up because I don't have a gasket for it. And this one was pretty cooked. And then we are still going to do nothing until Hunter gets home. And that's the update I have. Right there. Now what you do is you hinge over. You're gonna tighten this guy down. Then you're gonna take that press. Yep. Loosen it up. So you can slide it on here. Center it. Now we're just gonna press. That bibbity bobbity boobity. Okay. <laughs> Flared. Good job, buddy. Professional. There you go. All right, Hunter showed up with some parts. Finally got the nut in here. Got the flare kit going. And hold on. There we go. Fits. Perfectly. It'll work. It'll work. Just got to throw some thread tape on there. And then the radiator will finally be fixed after I destroyed it the other day. And from there, we can start working on the manifolds finally. Get all the turbo kit lined up. Look at that. You did it, buddy. No, it's not working in there. Tape? No, not yet. But it's also... Not working? It'll work. It'll work. I'm just, I can't do it with one hand. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, wait. You don't have a mic. How's your day going? Hey guys, it's been a great day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, it wasn't a great fit. Hunter got what he could. Uh, it wasn't long enough of a nut to go in there, so we put some RTV and pulled this out so hopefully it dries up and seals itself, and the next time we turn this car on, it just doesn't get spewing everywhere. Hunter's been working on his truck, but he's going to start packing up. I'm going to pack up for today because really this video was just about taking the manifolds off and then I cut the radiator. So look at how shiny and new it is, yay. But I'm gonna call it for today. I'm gonna pack up my stuff. Hunter just hit me with a hose, so I ain't gonna help him at all. Hunter did his best, cause apparently that's, oh! What are you doing? Why? God, you're I'm on his side. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I will talk to you next time. Hunter, give him some words of wisdom. We'll be back soon.